Hi, I'm Brenda Quintana from QBsQuest.com. I'm thrilled to be a guest designer on SplitCoastStampers.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make these scallop circle flowers, which when you make a bunch of them will look really nice if you tie them up as a bouquet. So let me show you how to make one. To start off with, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is six inches by half an inch, and you're going to put the short side up at the top of your scoring board, and you're going to score at the quarter inch mark. So this is a long skinny strip, so you might need to move your fingers a little bit as you're scoring to get it all the way down. You can put your scoring board aside and then you're just going to fold along that score line and you can use your bone folder to really crease that fold. Then you're going to take some Tombow and you're just going to put it inside right along that fold. Try not to put too much glue because it's going to start to squeeze out and I don't put it right to the ends for that same reason. And then you're just going to use your bone folder and uh, smooth out that fold again. And the adhesive is going to stick to both sides of the cardstock. Now you might have some glue squeezing out, so just use a tissue to remove uh, the excess glue. And then you're going to choose one end and you're going to cut into it about three quarters of an inch down. That's probably more like an inch, but just so you get um, a long enough slot, we are going to bring these together and create a narrow point at one end of your stem. So that's where your flower head will go. So I've just put some Tombow, you can see, on one of the pieces and I'm going to fold this over so the two pieces um, uh, come on top of each other. You can kind of see that. It just kind of creates a skinny, skinny end. And again, if you have some excess glue, just wipe it off with a tissue. Okay, your stem is ready, so you can set that aside for a moment. Now we need to create the flower head. So I'm gonna bring in my Big Shot, and I have a scallop circle framelit that is about five inches in diameter. And um, I'm going to use some designer series paper, and I'm gonna cut the scallop circle out of that. You'll wanna use a paper that is double-sided because you'll see the pattern from both sides. You can set your Big Shot aside. And then you'll wanna fold your circle uh, in half. Now, I like to have the pattern that I'm going to use on the outside when I do my folding, but later on, you still have an opportunity to uh, switch that up. And then you're gonna fold this piece in half again. And then we're going to take some scissors and we're gonna cut down about three quarters of an inch to an inch. I wanna try and keep my, these will be the petals, so you wanna keep them about the same distance down. And you don't wanna cut all the way down because we're gonna cut part of this corner off at the bottom. So just cut in about three quarters of an inch down each of the little scallops. And then this end piece needs to be cut off. I like to cut off three quarters of an inch and I'm really bad at guessing what that is and it's a little bit more critical down here. So I'm just gonna take a little ruler and make a mark at the three quarter inch mark up from that corner on both of my sides so I know where to cut an end. And then I'm just going to cut in an arc so I've got this uh, corner coming off and you can see here the piece that I've cut off. Okay, 
And then you can discard that center piece and you can open up your um, scallop circle. And then I like to, there's some, there's gonna be a couple of double scallops here um, because that's on the end where the fold was. And I like to use one of those to cut all the way through like that. So now I've got an open-ended donut shape piece. Now on the opposite side, you're also gonna have a double scallop. You don't wanna cut that all the way through, but we're gonna cut it down to match the other petals so that when we're um, rolling this flower up, it's an individual petal. So then we're going to take one end and I'm just going to bend over that piece just as a little kind of starter piece to hook my stem into. And then I'm going to take some Tombow and I'm just gonna um, do about a quarter of the circle. I find if I put Tombow all the way around to begin with, my fingers get into it. So then you're just gonna take your stem and you can either feed it up from the bottom if it's easier or have it right on top. And that skinny end that we made, that's what's going to be um, right where you're gonna roll your flower. So you're gonna start rolling your flower, and I try to keep it even with the bottom right here. So as I'm rolling, I'm trying to keep my stem piece right on the bottom right there. And then when I get to the part where I don't have any more glue, I just put a little bit more glue for the next section, and then I just keep turning it's it's really rolling 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 and then I'm getting to the next section so I'll put a little bit more Tombow on there and then I keep rolling rolling trying to keep it level with the bottom okay and then I just have one more section and I don't put it right to the end you'll the glue will squeeze out and it's good that it squeezes out because that way you'll know it's the paper sealed right to the end and then it won't. In fact, you can probably put a little bit, a little bit, a little bit higher right there. So you got a really good seal at the end. You see that glue kind of squeezing out. So I'm just going to take a tissue and kind of um, get rid of some of the excess. And then I'm gonna stick my thumb right on that seam for a minute and let the Tombow do its magic so that it can seal into place. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start bringing down my petals uh, from the outer to the inner, just like that. Just start to open up the flower. And um, this flower is like a whimsical flower. It's you know, it's not really meant to look like any particular flower, although I do think it looks a little bit like a carnation, but it's kind of, it's just a happy little flower, okay? And then um, that should be sealed in place. And now let's make some little curly leaves. And I've got two pieces of cardstock and I've cut them each uh, to three inches by a quarter inch. And I'm going to take my stylus tool, not the really fat part and not the really skinny metal part, but just, um, I just have this end right here, has a little bit of, um, of a skinnier part. So I'm just going to take my stem and roll it around there, like that, and then you can let it go. It's kind of like quilling a little bit. And then I'll do the same for the other one. You just have to roll it till there's like about half an inch of the cardstock left. And then you can always relax it a little bit. And then I'm just going to take some Tombow and put it on um, one of the flat ends. And I'll just put it, attach it to the stem, just part way down the flower like that. And then I'll do the same for the other little curly leaf, like that. And I'll attach that as well. And then you can have a little bit of fun. You can 
relax it a lot if you want or if you want you can curl it up a little tighter um, but you kind of get the idea you just want to have uh, a little bit of a whimsical uh, leaf or stem piece right and then um, what I did is I made a bunch of these and I tied it up with some uh, dotted uh, scallop lace trim and then what you can do is you tie them up or and then you can I'm just gonna feed this one into my little bouquet here like that and there you go it's a cute little bouquet and you could put it in a little vase if you wanted to or you can just give it just like this with uh, the ribbon around it I hope you'll give my scallop circle flower a try bye for now